Hello everyone. It's good to be here with you today to talk about our breath. Let's go ahead and start right in, taking a nice inhale together and a nice long exhale. And perhaps finding another round, just following this Hoberman sphere as it expands on the inhale, matching its expansion and contraction on the exhale, gently softening and blowing off that air. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat if you haven't already. I'm going to share some information with you about our breathing today, and then I'm going to demonstrate a simple breathing exercise that can help you bring your nervous system into a parasympathetic state or a calmer state. So let's talk a little bit about the science behind our breathing. A few things we know. When we inhale, it's sympathetic action, meaning it's action-oriented. It requires some energy and focus from our nervous system, and it gets a little activation, a little energy moving. And then when we exhale, this is actually a parasympathetic in the nervous system. Exhaling is a release of action. It helps us soften, let go, and breathe out. We also know that when we inhale, it's sympathetic because we are increasing the amount of oxygen that we're inputting to our body. So the more oxygen we have, the more energy we have, we can have access to, to move and do whatever we need to do. At the same time, when we exhale, we're decreasing the oxygen input to the body, which has a dampening or calming or settling effect on the body. It starts to slow things down. So when we know these things about the breathing, we can use our breath as an important way in to the nervous system to help affect some shifts and some changes in our physiology simply by adapting our breathing rhythm and helping our breath find its natural internal rhythm that can help bring us closer to that place of internal coherence. Now, coherence is another important piece here when we're talking about the breath. What is coherence? Coherence is a measurable state of harmony between brain and body. It essentially means that the electrical activity of the heart and the brain waves are happening in synchronicity. So there is a state of internal ease, flow, and efficiency in the body when we're in a coherent state. When we're in a coherent state, the body just breathes itself. We find this natural internal rhythm. And what's really cool about coherence is that in that state, when we inhale and we exhale, that exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens in every cell of the body, meaning that that expansion with oxygen, energy, and air happens all over the body and the contraction and the release and the softening happens all over the body in that coherent state when our breath is in rhythm, in tune. So just noticing here, if you are breathing, I'm assuming you are, if you're still sitting here listening to me, let's take a moment and just notice what's your natural breath doing right here, right now? Notice if it's a little short in your upper chest. I find that for myself because filming these videos is a little activating for me. It brings up a little bit of nerves. So I'm just feeling a little shorter in my breathing, perhaps a little tight under the diaphragm, which is very common when we feel a little bit activated. So notice how you're feeling. Maybe your breath is feeling full and supple Perhaps you're noticing 
that subtle feeling of every cell in your body. Expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. Or perhaps you're just wondering what that might be like to be in such an internal state of ease. So I'm going to share a couple little tools with you now as far as ways you can help your nervous system come from a more activated, more sympathetic, action-oriented state or more of an anxious or fight or flighty type of state down into more of that parasympathetic rest and digest state. The easiest way to help induce this parasympathetic restful state in your body is by lengthening your exhale. So we'll practice a few rounds of that. Just noticing the length of your natural breath. And all I invite you to do is exhale one to three seconds longer than your inhale. So just blowing off a little extra air on the exhale. then allowing that natural inhale to fill you back up once you finish blowing off the air. So again, just exhaling and exhaling a little bit more and then allowing that natural inhale to come back in and take place. You might continue this and turn it into a little practice for three to five rounds or perhaps a little longer Inhaling for four seconds, exhaling for six seconds, or adjusting those ratios to whatever suits your needs in this moment. But simply exaggerating the exhale and blowing off a little extra air, further depriving the nervous system of oxygen, carrying it deeper into a parasympathetic state, and therefore stimulating that bigger natural inhale. So feel for that impulse in your body after that long exhale. You may notice there is an impulse to just take a deep inhale and breathe in fully. And as you continue to practice that, you might notice there's even more space in your lungs for that breath, that natural inhale to come in and expand. And what that's doing is it's moving you a little bit closer to coherence where your body just breathes itself and those inhales are nice and full and easy and the exhales are supple and complete. Just helping you settle in a little more. So one more tool I'm going to share today is this practice of five, seven, eight breathing, which is all over the internet. Um, this is a breathing practice that can also help induce that resting state in the nervous system. And it's a practice I love to do before I do a yoga practice, before I meditate or attempt to meditate. And also, honestly, I use it sometimes when I'm feeling my mind racing and I can't fall asleep at night, I just use this breath practice to help my body and my brain settle down and have something to focus on that can bring me into that lower level of activity in my brain. So the practice is to inhale for five seconds, hold the breath at the top of the inhale for seven seconds, and lengthen that exhale nice and long for eight seconds. Now, for many people, this is unreasonable, this amount of time to hold the breath. Um, so I off, often offer just shorten those ratios to what works for you. Maybe you'll have an inhale for three seconds, holding for four seconds, exhaling for five seconds. So go ahead and do an internal count if you're using a different ratio. I'm going to lead us through two rounds, we'll start with two, of that five, seven, eight breathing. And then we'll pause and check in and feel what's happened in our bodies as a result. So settling in, softening your gaze a few feet in front of you on the floor or closing your eyes if you'd like. 
Start just by exhaling fully, blowing off some air. And then let's inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shortening as you need. Let's go one more round. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just allow your natural breath to return. Let go of any control or counting. And notice already if you feel a subtle shift internally, perhaps things slowing down a little bit, or maybe you notice something else. Because as we know, when we start to explore in our somatic experience in the body, we're never quite sure what we might find. So I hope you enjoyed this little exercise today and learning a bit about the breath with me and my trusty Hoberman sphere. And Feel free to share what you experienced in the comments. Thanks for joining in. Be well.